three, two, one, go! Off and away we go for what should be a very exciting qualification match 50. We are rounding over the halfway point here of our qualification rounds here at our district championship event. This autonomous period isn't even over and we've already got 49 points on the board for blue. 34 over on red. Already an entourage of points making its way onto the leaderboards here for that blue alliance. And we'll see what they have in store for us here. When I say it should be a very exciting and spicy one, this is in part because all members of this Blue Alliance have played each other before and often to great success as Team Chuck and Jack and the Bot played together and did some impressively high scores, including what was for a moment the world record high score at the Yakima Sundome event and Jack and the Bot and Revolution, and yes, Revolution played at Sammamish for a bit there. We do have a robot down for the count and appears to be uh, face planted for in a way that may be difficult to recover there. The generals over on red flipped over in their own community. So we will have another three on two power play here through the remainder of this match, it appears. 105 to 47 favoring blue is your current live score as Jack and the Bot and Revolution are on kind of one segment of the Blue Alliance cycle. And then we have Team Chuck on the other segment as they place a cube there on the middle row of their cooperation node in the center of that Alliance grid. And that's worth three points of Alliance score. Alliance Blue scores their sixth link. They have completely filled the top row and the middle row of that Alliance grid with a minute left to play. I'm starting to get a weird feeling we're going to have a lot of dead air time on the Blue Alliance side at the end of this match. 66 points over here on red. They've got two links secured, NRG, placing, as always, those cubes on that bottom row that they are so famous for doing at this point. And their alliance partner, Spartronics from Bainbridge Island, coming in here and doing kind of largely the same, placing cones up into lower nodes. However, they did just score one into a node that already had a game piece and therefore will not count for additional score. 152 points on the board before endgame. Remember that most matches this weekend have been won with less than 152 points. This is before we start talking about the triple climb with a full grid for the first time in the state of Washington. This match is done for blue with 15 seconds left on the clock, and it's done for red with 10 seconds. They've got two of their robots parked up on the bridge for red. I'll be back in a bit. I got to run some numbers. Okay, so we talked about some numbers. We did some math stuff. Um, for those of you who haven't followed First Charged Up this year, the maximum possible score without penalties this year is 193 points. After we've offset our penalties here, I will say that we did not quite hit it, but the Blue Alliance wins the match with a score of 196 to 102, and if you take those penalty points off, that is 191 clean points for the Blue Alliance, which is, as 